The police commissioner of Mumbai is the chief of the Mumbai police. The commissioner is appointed by the Maharashtra state government on the recommendation by the establishment board, which includes additional chief secretary, home department and other senior bureaucrats. The headquarters are opposite Crawford Market in South Mumbai. The commissioner is an Indian police service officer. As of July 2018 this post is held by Subo Jaiswal, an IPS officer. Early background On 14 December 1864, when the port city of Bombay was at the height of its mercantile boom, Sir Frank Souter laid the foundations of a police force that he hoped would rank only second to Scotland Yard. Sir Frank, who remained at the helm of the police force for 24 years, was Mumbai's first commissioner of police. Successive CPs built up a force that became the most formidable in the empire, second only to London. Almost no major crime in Mumbai remained unsolved for long. Neither were there any political killings. Despite prolonged labor strikes, the fabric of Mumbai's law and order remained unrent, thanks to the fine force led by dedicated CPs and their loyal band of officers. On the first day of India's freedom, ace police officer J.S. Barucha took over from A.E. Caffin. It was the end of the British era, but as in other areas of government, the pomp and ceremony of office continued. Every morning, the CP is welcomed into the headquarters with a smart salute by a police platoon and band. Bombay Province's first Inspector General of Police IGP, SM. Kamti realised soon enough that although he was technically head of the entire province, the power lay with the Bombay CP. Kamti prevailed upon the then Chief Minister called Premier, B.G. Care to shift the IGP's office from Pune to Mumbai. But even this did not dent the CP's clout and the CP's post has remained like the Wimbledon Cup that every police officer worth his salt has aspired for. Supercop J.F. Ribeiro occupied the CP's office for over three years and is the only CP after 1960, when Maharashtra was formed, to complete a full tenure. Ribeiro's most challenging job was quelling the police revolt of 1982 in Mumbai, the first of its kind almost anywhere in India. The most adverse publicity was earned when retired CP Ram Deo Tyagi was arrested for his alleged role in the Suleiman Bakery firing during the 1992-93 Mumbai riots. In January 1993, Srikant Bapat, an officer of impeccable credentials, was removed as CP for failing to control the riots. His immediate predecessor S. Ramamurti could never shake off the black spot in his career. He was in charge of Indira Gandhi's security when she was assassinated on October 31, 1984, by her bodyguards. Ramamurti was shifted out of the department and was reinstated as police chief in Mumbai. CPPS. Pazricha is the second Sikh to bag the hot seat. The first was A.S. Samra, who replaced Bapat. Intrepid officers like R.H. Mendonka and Satish Sani have graced the office, never allowing any scandal to taint it. Forget Street's hero Charles Forget is the best remembered commissioner of police to date. A genial officer, he used to go native in his dress and speak the local languages fluently. Forget was a one man intelligence bureau who busted several criminal rings and created the first formal police structure for Mumbai. Forget's most commendable job was to ensure that Mumbai remained calm in 1857. Forget took over in November 1856 and was in office till April 1864. He was the first Deputy Commissioner of Police of Mumbai 1856 and was later promoted as Acting Commissioner 1862 In gratitude to his excellent policing, Forget Hills was named after him. <laughs> List of Police Commissioner of Mumbai See also Commissioner of Police, Bangalore City Commissioner of Police, Delhi